What's up guys, English Dan back with another video. So, the guys over at Mob Voice sent this out to me. It's the TickWatch Pro 3 GPS. This is their latest Android Wear watch. It uses the latest Snapdragon 4100 system on a chip. Uh, what's in the box here? TickWatch Pro 3 GPS charging cable user manual. Just some of your usual gumph in there. TickWatch fitness smartwatch just for a scan with transparency app lets you know where your warranty is extend your warranty here customer service made in China nothing on this side nothing on that side on the back like I say the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 platform up to 72 hours battery life in smart mode and 45 days in essential mode IP68 and swim suitable really good HD heart rate, stress and sleep tracking, blood oxygen saturation detection too. So I have heart issues, so this is going to be good for me. Um, a lot of you probably don't know, I actually have heart disease. Now it's not going to do anything regarding that, but it's nice to be able to keep an eye on my uh, heart rate and things like that. Also with the blood oxygen, where I was taken into hospital a few months ago where they thought I may have had the Rona and my blood oxygen levels were all over the place to the point that they thought I had sepsis. So yeah, this is going to be ideal. Uh, Google Assistant is built in. 1,000 plus watch faces on Google Play. You really can customize this to the way you like it. It's Wear OS by Google, two displays, double the possibilities. I'll get into that a little bit more later, but um, yeah, this is a display over a display. It's very clever the way they do it. Speaker and mic support. 10 plus professional workout modes, NFC and Google Play, and powerful GPS built in. Has everything in here. It does say in the small writing, battery life varies by use and configuration. Actual results may vary. And that's the same with anything like a cell phone or anything electronic like that. Google Wear OS by Google and Google Play are trademarks. And that's about it, really. It will work on anything running Android 6. So, yeah, you can go quite far back in your Android devices. Excluding the Go edition or iOS 12 plus so yeah, it does cover a lot So as you can see I have not done anything with this yet It is literally arrived here the other day and this is the first time I've had a chance to get to it So let's unbox this and see what this thing looks like All right, so we're gonna use the good old fingernails because I forgot my knife. Wow, I'm awesome. Anyway, so let's just find some work. There we go. Let's get in there. See, this is why when I do unboxings, I've already really unboxed them before, but hey, I know some of you like to hear these sounds. So there you go. So let's throw the plastic away. So this i presume just is a sleeve slides out like so got tick watch on the actual box quick guide is inside there it's actually underneath the box so if you get one of these and you do slide it out beware that this is actually underneath the box in the slip so this is the quick guide basically it tells you power button multifunction button you name it it tells you about it charging appearance preparing your smartphone so no doubt we got to download the app for that just like you do with every other watch and this just comes off the top like this now that's a good looking watch this is just a, a thin cardboard by the way it's not like a proper presentation box but that is a good looking watch so let's have a look at this you can see the plastic still on there and it has a leather strap which i am really surprised at i was actually expecting a rub well it is rubber is it rubber it's a rubber strap with stitching on it fooled me thought it was leather but uh either way it's actually quite a nice looking strap let's get this thing off here this is tough let's do that that's why see this piece comes out so when you get this you're trying to manhandle the strap just pull out the the bit that it's strapped over You'll be fine. Then you don't have to wrestle with it like I just did. Let's unstrap this for a minute. Wow. This is whooping my butt. 
Anyway, there we go. So we'll take that out of here. We'll pull that to the inside a minute. So underneath this is everybody's favorite silica gel. And then we also get the charging cable, which is proprietary. It's like most watches have their own little way. I believe this is a magnet, it's USB A. It's a flat, non tangled cable as well. I believe this just magnets onto it one way or another. So there you go. So it'll only go on one way. It's actually pretty strong as well, that. But yeah, it snaps straight on there. This is a really nice looking watch. Really nice looking watch. Anyway, we can talk about that in a second. So that was the USB charging cable. And then inside here, we also get customer care, satisfied share your experience on Amazon, need support, gives you the phone number, gives you the membership benefits there, manufacturer direct after sales service, new product trial, exclusive promotion. You can join the VIP club there. This here is just uh, information about the actual device. Model is the WH12018. So yeah, it's just information about that. And product safety, because we all read this. I expect you all to go through this page for page, okay? Even if you don't understand the languages on them, I expect you to read it back to front. And I will be back at the end of the video with a Q&A from you. Just kidding. Anyway, so that's the box in the box. That's it. Let's move that over there. So this is the actual watch itself. Let's take the plastic off the front. The plastic on the front of that is better than the thing on the front of the iPhone 12 Pro. I'm just saying, all right? At least it makes that proper noise instead of the iPhone piece of paper that did nothing. Come on. Anyway, digressing. So, as you can see, the watch, real smart, has the stitching on the on the band. Looks like a real nice, comfortable band as well. It's nice and soft. Bands are replaceable as well. They have the quick release. It does have on here tick watch. Let's see if I can get that to focus in for you. Well, on the strap there, it does say tick watch. And on the other side, it also says tick watch. Surprise, surprise, I bet you're shocked with that. On the back of here, you got obviously the heartbeat sensor. On the right, in, it says made in China, Tick Watch Pro 3, and Mobboy, and then just the usual uh, model number and things like that. Don't throw in a trash can. That's your charging port where the pins are, pogo pins. And this is your, your sensor. So on this side, you get your two buttons here, and then I'm presuming this is a microphone hole. And on this side, you've got these two holes here, and I'm presuming that's the speaker. The bezel does not rotate. So if you were hoping for a rotating bezel like on the Samsung, it doesn't do that. It's actually a, a fixture to the watch, which I don't mind because it does look very good. I'm not sure which button powers this on because, you know, because I'm good. I don't read the instructions, but I probably will have to on this one. It may not even have any juice in it. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I just felt a vibration. Top one powers it on, as you can see. Tick watch. That's a really crisp display. Don't know whether you can see it properly from there, but it's a very, very crisp display. There's Android Wear. So this is the initial boot up, so it may be slower on the initial boot up than what it would be after you've set it up and everything like that. That screen from here is fantastic. Every bit as good as what you see on a Samsung screen. You'll wear OS by Google. Here we go, tap to begin. So we want it in English, the United States, as you can see it is a touch screen. Uh, notice please read all the contents on this page. Protecting blah 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 collecting information blah 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 Yeah, okay, we're good with that. Let's just go to that one. Privacy policy. 
I know I should sit here and read every inch of this, but guess what? I'm not. Throw back button. I don't know how this works. There you go. So, yep, I've read it. We don't need to read all the other stuff. On your phone, download Wear OS by Google. Let's see if I've got it on my Ultra. See, this is how new this is to me. I've not even done anything as yet. So. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't want to see that, do we? It's my new mobile phone agreement. Just join Verizon. So. Uh, have we got the Wear OS on here already? I'll pause it. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, we're back. So Wear OS by Google in the Wear OS app. Connect this watch to this name. So let's start setup. Yeah, we're just going to hit agree for now. I don't want to send information. Connecting to the watch, as you can see, TickWatch Pro 3 GPS 0534 says the same on here. So we're going to hit that and we're going to connect. Don't know how long it takes. There we go. Same numbers on the screen as what was on the Bluetooth pairing. Connected. Really simple. There you go. Copy your Google accounts to the tick watch. Yes, that's fine. Let's use my pen. Get out. Copy in the accounts. Not long at all. Stay connected to Wi Fi. Get notifications and send messages. Whoop. Everything's. You can hear the vibration. That's because I've signed into all my different email addresses via the phone. Let's connect via Wi-Fi. Yep. Chat with your friends. Yep. Absolutely. We will allow and allow and allow and allow. Check your calendar. That's fine. We can let that allow. Get notifications at a glance. Absolutely. Yep. Location notice. Yep. Because the GPS finishing up may take up to five minutes. I will... Uh, I will cut all this bar out and I will come back when it's set up. All right, we're back. You're all set. There you go. So let's hit done. TickWatch Pro 3, watch faces. So you've got Horizon, Guardian, Ruler. Choose your tiles. Get quick access to the things you need to know. So if we quick click on that, we will fit, forecast the weather. We can add more. Simple calculator, hand wash timer. So at least they've not forced this on you with that stupid bubble animation that's on the Apple Watch. That uh, just drives me crazy. Time o'clock, heart points for Google Fit, heart rate, workout, headlines, tick, exercise, tick health, tick pulse, voice memo. What else have we got in here? Next event. Had a goals thing. Did you see that then? Let me just do more here. Let me go to the tiles. Goals by Google Fit. You notice what that is? Closing out the rings, just like the Apple Watch. And I don't blame them for copying it, because it is actually a very good system via the Apple Watch. It's notifications, you can choose silence phone while wearing the watch, change watch notifications, block notifications from specific apps. I will be going through doing that. Agenda settings, I can go through my calendar events, my work emails and things like that. Google Assistant, well, it's Google Assistant. And then we got the advanced settings for the watch. Always on screen, tilt to wake, auto launch media controls, accounts, privacy, watch battery, watch storage, watch app. I think the storage on this is, f I want to say 4 gig, but I could be totally wrong. It's actually, you get 5.5 or 5.05 gig total. 464 megabyte used, and you get 4.5, just over 4.5 gigs on your watch. That's pretty decent. To unpair the watch, you just press this button here and it'll factory reset. So yeah, pretty pretty swanky. Let's have a look at these watch faces. I mean, yeah, see these are just the, the basic watch faces that are in there. Age of Blood, Blues, Calendar, Classic Black. Quite like the Classic Black, nice and simple. You can do the Google Fit with the rings closing, Horizon Guardian, you can go for the, the uh, digital type. And that's what's really good about this watch is the um, the screen. So the way this works is it has a screen underneath the main screen. So here you go, it's going to tell us how to use this watch. So swipe in each direction. But it does have two screens. When you're using it just as a watch, the top screen will work. And it's just a basic uh, like digital readout. 
only when you need the actual smart functions does the OLED screen underneath shine through and take over. Very nifty. So swipe in each direction. Swipe left to discover your tiles. Tap to sign into Google Fit. And then we got the weather. You have no events today because I'm boring. Touch and hold to change tiles. There you go. Swipe up to remove tiles. Add a tile. So this is what was in there before. So let's do heart rate. There you go. Tap to sign into Google Fit. I need to do all that yet. Coaching you to a healthier and more active lifestyle. Yeah, whatever. So let me choose my account. For some reason, it's putting my work email up there as the main account. Yep, Fit Shares Diagnostics. We already knew that. And Fit can track me all at once. I don't mind. Also tracks my vital signs, which is good. Profile. Five foot nine. Yes, I was taller than that, but boy, I'm a big boy right now. I need to go on my diet and lose my 40 pounds again. We'll just keep going, won't we? 278. What a fat ass. Anyway, <clears throat> better picture of your activity. Blah, blah, blah. Get points for raising. Yeah, we know all this. So, let's swipe this way. Good evening. This is your Google Assistant telling me everything, what the weather's going to be like, hourly forecast, start a stopwatch, top news. Let's go back. Swipe from down and up. This gives us our quick settings airplane mode, sound, vibrate, pay, watch, whatever. Do not disturb battery and Bluetooth. We hit that again and we'll swipe it from the bottom now. I'm a notification tap to expand. This is how you expand. Do as you're told. Well, tap, not press. Tap again to collapse our notification. So there you go. Swipe to dismiss, which is that way. And then you can hit clear all. Press button for apps. So this button here is going to, there you go, and this will load your apps in. As you can see, phone, so you can make a phone call from this. You can exercise, sleep, tick zen, tick hearing, there's all kinds in there. You press that button again to go back, takes us right back, change the watch face, touch and hold. And we can just slide our cross and we can see more watch faces. There's plenty in there. Let's just choose anything for now. We'll go with Guardian right now. To remove favorites, swipe away. There you go. Enjoy your watch. See the tutorials in settings, which no doubt I will have to do. But that's how you set up the watch. So pretty simple, a lot to digest. I will be back in probably a week, maybe less if possible. Um, once I've got used to all the controls on this and I can let you know whether it's any good with the battery life and whether it's actually accurate or anything like that. But yeah, this is the TickWatch Pro 3 GPS. I'm English Dan. Latest. I jumped the gun and was going to end the video, but I did want to show you this. So like I was saying, it was two screens. So obviously there is the main screen. That's the OLED screen, the one with all the information on. But underneath is, you see that on top? This is the digital screen. So there you go. Let me make it come on again. When I flick my wrist, it'll just give me, it gives you a small vibration and then it lets you know that this screen is on. And this is how it gets such good battery life and it's such a great way of doing things because you don't always need everything on the watch screen to show you when you just want to check the time. You know, everybody looks at the watch to check the time. You don't need to see everything else. So yeah, this is how the dual screens work. Anyway, just thought that was important to show you because it's important. All right, guys, I'm definitely out this time.